I'm board certified in nutrition support and I work in critical care. My employers uh, got together and decided that anybody that's a clinical specialist should be board certified in an area. So the current practice at that time at the health system was me doing a lot of nutrition support so it only made sense for me to get certified in nutrition support. It helps me take care of my patients in a, a more beneficial manner and I think it gives others confidence in my abilities as well. So I work in the critical care area, we modify their, uh, we have certain consult services that we do like aminoglycosides, vancomycin, uh, we do the TPNs for those patients. So we manage the total patient in the ICU from a collaborative practice agreement we have with our physicians. We are able to manage certain things like electrolyte protocols, we manage all the TPN consults, we manage the, the like I said, the aminoglycoside and vancomycin consults, and also we recommend therapies, say someone's not on stress or prophylaxis in the ICU, we recommend or even able to put them on pr prophylaxis for those reasons. We recognize patients that are at risk for nutritional deficits and recommend either putting them on an enteral formula, which should be most appropriate, or if those fail and there's other circumstances, we can recommend you know, an enteral or parenteral formula for those patients to get them back in a positive nitrogen balance. It helps me personally because uh, it allows me to know that I've accomplished something. I've, uh, it's a well-written exam, it's a well-vetted exam, so therefore, if you pass it, you have quite a bit of knowledge in the area of which you're board certified in.